I was going to come make clay this afternoon out of this and of that pile. We are going to make our own clay and I will teach you how to do it because I want to line our pond naturally with clay. Our own clay. So this is going to be where the pond is. Look how beautiful, all hand done. Um, ambitious and I don't know if it's even possible but I'd really really like to try. I want to make clay but I think it's too ambitious for today. I think I'm a bit too tired for such an ambitious project. So instead, I'm going to move my raspberries, okay? If I tell you this is raspberries, believe me, it is. It's just in a really bad spot. Never grew, and every time it grew, the chickens just chowed it down. There's another teeny raspberry in there. Little, little. This guy. I wanted a blueberry, so I bought a blueberry. It was extremely expensive. It was like a hundred shekel, which is like unheard of. For and they were like blueberries. I'm like, you sure blueberries? Yeah. Anyway, it's not blueberries. These are not the kind of leaves that blueberries have. I don't know what it is, but it never grew more than what it is now. So I assume this isn't the right spot for them. So I'm gonna take them out, replant them in in pots, put them in the greenhouse, and see what happens. One out, two out, which is funny because there's huge, huge roots and these two tiny little shoots. But they have potential to be yummy raspberries, so I am going to be very careful with them. This is the older one, and I got three separate parts, so I'm going to plant all three. And I'm going to take them now to the greenhouse and pot them up. Okay, raspberries. Mystery berry. Raspberries all potted up. And let's see what happens. Hey everyone, good morning on this beautiful day. There is forecast for rain, hail, and winds for later on. So I'm going to use this time beforehand to get things done when it's not so hot which is definitely not a usual to have that kind of weather here at this time of the year but it is what it is so I am pumped as you noticed I'm excited I am going to finally start making clay I did already make a prototype and it worked out really well, so I want to show you what I'm going to do. The first thing you need is buckets. The second thing is water, clay. Clay works like this. What's going to happen is that I'm going to mix up this with water, and then all the sand and the rocks are going to fall to the bottom. All the clay stays suspended in the water for longer, so that's going to stay on the top. I'm going to then pour out the clay in the water, leave the sand and the rocks on the bottom, and leave the clay to dry. Simple as. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to fill this, and it's just sitting and waiting now for 20 minutes. The next stage. I have five buckets filled with water. You already see the organic material starting to come up. See all that floating on top is all the organic material. And I'm just gonna mix it. I'm gonna agitate it, mix it. Okay, now it's gonna start separating. It's gonna all mix together. This is making it harder for me to mix. It's a, it's a rock, a solid rock. So I want these rocks. I'm gonna put them in here, clean them off. See, I put them in here. I'm gonna clean them off and we're gonna save them to decorate around the pond. 
So, okay, this is all root matter. Floats to the top right away, we don't need it. Next, is there, there's another big rock in here, I think. Okay, here's another big rock that's disturbing me. Take him out into our bucket. Now this is a cement rock. I don't want cement in my bucket. I don't want cement rocks. So I'll put that back on the pile over there. All right, now it should be a bit easier to mix. Yes, it is. Mix. Mix really, really well. Have fun while I'm at it. Leave this to rest, and then I'm gonna sift it out. Next bucket. So I've been bending down. Instead of bending down, lift it up to my height. That's a good idea. That will make life easier. First thing I'm gonna do is take out the stuff that's floating on top. Okay, that's the organic matter. I don't want that. Put it in the sifter. I don't want it to clog up the sifter. So I'm just gonna gently take up what's all the stuff that's floating. Okay, there's a lot of stuff that's floating, which is a good thing normally. Normally you want a lot of stuff that's floating. Okay. Now because we have such clay-like soil, it, a lot of it's just not broken up. I'm gonna let it sit for a little longer. Because this bucket, it's been sitting. Take my sister. All right, clean bucket. Sort of clean, it's good enough for the next mix. I poured it through, I poured it through the strainer. As soon as this started coming up, this stuff, I don't want that. I, these are the organic matter, and this is the sand, the rocks and the silt that's left on the bottom. So, I'm gonna leave this. Sieved out the first batch with this sieve. These holes are pretty big. You can come show them the holes. This holes are pretty big. Okay, I want to sieve it out one more time. Much finer mesh, mesh so I'm going to do that. After, wait, 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 wait. This is what we sifted out first. Second sieve. Okay, the next step. So it was sieved twice, one through the thicker sieve, one through the thinner sieve. This is what we're left with. There's still pieces of organic matter going through, but unless I do a really, really, really fine sieve, um, I doubt that's gonna happen. I'm gonna go straight into the pillowcase. I'm not using it for uh, making clay pottery, even though I'm really in the mood now, but uh, maybe I will save some. We're using it to line our pond, so I think it's okay if there are these little teeny bits of organic matter left in it. I'm gonna tie it up and hang it up for all the water to pour out. All right, so I tied it, but I have a slight problem. It is really heavy. I probably got too excited and put too much in at once. So the water is dripping out from the bottom. But this is, I think this is going to be okay. I am going to tie it up here. Water will also drip into a bucket. Added bonus, we don't lose water. Apparently, this water should come out really clean. And it might even be enough to drink from. I've heard that. All the materials that I used and I'm very excited to do this. I'm very proud of it. This is Chocochino, which is a chocolate mix. These buckets 
are recycled from the Neve kitchen. They're all saved for me. Um, this is an old stand that were by the beds on the garbage pile, so we're using this. This, um, I know it looks like an amazing pillowcase. It probably is. What happens on campus is every year we get left uh, loads and loads of sheets and pillowcases, and I do all different kind of things of them with them. The sheets and the blanket covers that we turn into rugs, and this is um, a pillowcase that I'm using now for this purpose. So that's recycled. To hold it up in place instead of tying it was heavy. I just took a garden stake. I like looking around and see what's around me and using that garden stake. Okay, pulled it out the ground. Let's take a look. Oh, okay. This is uh, the water from our, we made it this morning. It rained all over it, so half that water is rain, half of it is from the clay. I'm just going to pour it out. It's still very liquidy in there. I hear it sloshing around. You hear it? So I'm just going to leave it to drain just Yesterday like Yesterday we had a really, really, really big bag hanging over here. There's a much smaller bag today. It means that lots and lots evaporated the water. There's still water in here, but not a lot. And it's gonna just dry. If this is already harder. It's gonna, yeah, this is the amount that we have now. And uh, it was raining, so it didn't dry out. Soon as it dries out, we'll show you. Clay checking time. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Almost ready. It's not ready yet. It has to, this is the clay. It has to dry a little bit more. But this is perfect consistency for lining the pond. We have clay. <laughs> we have clay. Okay, so this has to this has to leave it a little bit more. Alright. So this is our finished product of clay. Okay? finished product of clay even have a knife here I wish I had a string but yeah all right that's this is the amount of clay that we got from a full bucket of clay water this is the amount of clay you get 